Well, I attended Midland and graduated from Midland. Um, really enjoyed my time here. I think it's a great four year, great four year institution. But um, anyway, I've kept close ties with Midland through the Kappa Phi fraternity and just through other alumni at Midland. And uh, I'm kind of like a big brother, uncle, father figure to a lot of these guys. And, um, which I, you know, I feel privileged to be able to do that. Uh, I had an older brother who was Kappa Phi um, about 10 years ahead of me, and so I, I met Leonard when I was quite a young kid. I can distinctly remember sitting down with him and talking with him about some of the challenges that I was having, and Leonard was always a voice of reason and really brought a perspective that he had seen other young men go through those same transitions and journeys and he was able to offer wisdom and guidance and honestly just support and encouragement. Leonard has done a great job of mentoring these young men, continuing to keep them in his life, and they continue to keep Leonard in their life. And he cares, genuinely cares about them. Yeah, like I said, I went to Midland and uh, started accounting, or went to work for Arthur Anderson at that time, as the largest CPA firm in the world, ended up at Kiewit, um, and the MS started, and it, it, it started and it advanced very aggressively. And I had to retire because of that. So I'm, my family still lived in town, so I had a better support system in Fremont than I did uh, anywhere else. Um, after I'd had it about a year and a half, they told me that you got about two years to live. And of course, my doctors are dead, but I'm not. So it worked out well, but um, uh, it's not anything that I thought would ever happen. This is not, you know, I, I spent my time preparing to be, you know, an accountant, a CPA and all that, and um, that isn't the way it took. But it, I wouldn't trade it for anything. You know, I've met so many different people and had so many different opportunities. There's just been so many cool things that have happened. You know, it's just, it's, it's hard to describe all of them, you know. Tell me a little bit about what the patio area means to you. Well, everybody knows there's nothing I like better than sitting out on my patio and like, well, I have a grill going or I have a bonfire going or I just sit around there and hang outside, you know. When he gets outside, he f smells the air, he feels the fresh wind on his face, he enjoys the outside. So when this project came up, we, we kind of thought that might be a good area for him to put his name on, just because that seems to be where he wants to be the most. Uh, to, to have a piece here to, to recognize him for, for the influence he's had on this campus uh, is great to see. I'm really excited about being able to have something that pays homage to a man who honestly has been able to provide mentorship leadership and guidance to so many students while he has been here. And he's honestly just been an example of persistence and gratefulness, you know, despite the challenges that he faces day to day, he's still an extremely capable person, never misses an opportunity to provide support for other people. Students for years will know this is who Leonard Nielsen is. This is what he did at this place. And this is why as you sit on a beautiful fall um, afternoon and enjoy, you know, whatever you're doing on his patio, that that is what his legacy is. I think that's very special.